senior meet's always always interesting, uh, you know, because we depending on who we're competing against you know we'll we'll try to let our seniors pick the events they want to do so inevitably it turns into into a lot of fun um and and it certainly was that and yeah we i thought we swam really well uh and a lot of people were swimming very off events uh which which happens as well it was nice to have a crowd uh, that was able to be you know in the pool obviously uh you know honoring our seniors before the meet was uh, you know, just one of those special moments that, that happens every year and to have their parents on deck for it. And, you know, I'm not I'm not shy to say that I got I got pretty teary eyed uh, while it was going on. Um, and it, it's, it's it's just always a, a special moment, you know, and then, and then I always take a minute to kind of huddle with with the seniors, uh, you know, before things really get get rolling with them. And I, you know, one thing I always try to preach to them is, you know, Take a minute during that senior meet and just kind of let it let it soak in, let it happen, let let the emotions kind of wash over them uh, and, and, and kind of you know take it in, uh, you know, because I think a lot of times in life we go through stuff and it, it kind of passes us by a little bit before we realize it, you know, and and being a being a, a student athlete, you know, and being on a team for four years, it flies by. And if you don't take a minute somewhere and just kind of let it soak in, you know, you might regret that and so i always i always try to to say hey guys take that minute you know at some point during this meet take it let it happen let those emotions you know uh sink in and all of that and, and it was it was a lot of fun and they're they're a, they're a great group of people um you know they've done a lot for the program they've been through a ton with us you know especially obviously over the last two seasons so it's uh it's been an up and down ride but it kind of is you know in every sport and it kind of is in life. And so it's kind of one of those life lessons that sports has a way of teaching everybody uh, while they're going through stuff. So it was it was a it was a tremendous, tremendous afternoon uh, here on the pool deck. And it was a nice way to send our seniors off. The team is really, really excited. Uh, it's hard not to be considering that the last time we went to the UAA meet was two years ago. And so, you know, for most of the team, uh, it's you know a brand new experience uh, and all they really know about is sort of like the rumors about how fast uh, it can be and like you know all like you know it's really crazy sometimes to go there you see really impressive swims both from our team and from the other teams there and so you know a large portion of the team just has like you know some vision of what it could be like and um, for the rest of us you know it's been so long since uh, we had the UAA meet um, that we, you know, sort of think we remember what it's like, but a lot of it has been blurred by the last two years. And so there's a lot of excitement. Um, I know like talking to some of my teammates, there's definitely also uh, obviously some nerves that comes always with um, a big meet because, you know, when we're at our dual meets, uh, we're, you know, we don't really slow down our training to, to go compete at those. And so our times really, you know, aren't at our best times because we're really tired, haven't gotten that time to rest. and so. Now that we actually are resting, there's sort of that uh, uncertainty associated with it because it's like, okay, like we don't really know how it's going to be. We have to trust uh, trust that the work that we put in, the coaches have planned for us, is paying off. But um, you know, as always, everybody gets that uncertainty going into it. So I'd say it's a combination of a lot of excitement and a lot of uncertainty with it. We are supposed to leave on Wednesday for our meet um, to go down to Atlanta and Emory. I think we're really excited for it. Uh, like you said, definitely the biggest meet of the year. Um, we have a pretty big freshman class this year, so we've got a lot of underclassmen going. So when you kind of think about it, not a lot of, there's only a few of us who are upperclassmen who have been to UAs before. So for us, it's pretty exciting to be able to go back and have that competition again. And it kind of seems surreal because for the longest time, it's everything has kind of seemed questionable. So the fact that we've kind of been able to make it through the whole season so far is really exciting. So I think we're excited to go down there. And I think we've had a lot of good prep for it and we're you know starting to rest up and get excited for it. We've had a really good month of training here in Cleveland. We came back um, a week early before classes start and we're getting uh, some good practices in. And you know, 
just doing the work. And I think we've done a lot to prepare just throughout the season. Like all of our dual meets have obviously prepared us for the events that we've been swimming. And we went to um, Magnus Cup this year, which was our mid-season meet in November. And I think that was really good practice for UAAs because that was a really fast meet against some, you know, faster division one schools, which I think helped kind of give more of a feel of UAAs for this upcoming week. The UA Championship, whew, boy, that's a, uh... It's a big meet. Um, it's it's a very fast meet. You know, I, I would I would argue with anyone that top to bottom, it's the best in Division Three, hands down. There's there's I, I don't need, I'm not even sure people would argue that point with me. Um, and so you know you, you can look at it, you can go in, and you can get intimidated by it, and you can be like, wow, this is this is going to be tough. But you know we're kind of going into it with an attitude of we're going to take care of ourselves. We're going to control what we can control, and that's. And that's it. We can't control what anybody else is doing. We can't control what the person, you know, in a lane next to you is going to do or the diver that goes right before you or right after you is going to do. So why worry about it? Why stress about it? Focus on us. Focus on what we're going to do. Let's have let's have a lot of fun, because if there's one thing that we saw last Saturday is that when we're energetic and we're enthusiastic and we're having fun at a meet. We swim fast and we're kind of loose. And, and if, if we can if we can mirror that at a big meet, then we're going to be just fine. And you know whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Um, you know, and there's always going to be lifetime bests. There's going to be school records. There's going to be B cuts. There's going to be those, all those types of things. Um, and sometimes you can predict a little bit who they might come from and other times they kind of come out of left field and you're like whoa I didn't see that coming you know but I think that that kind of going into things I don't want to stress about team score I don't want to stress about that right because at the end of the day whatever's going to happen is going to happen and the chips are going to fall and and I think that it's been um, it's been a really good year and we've trained really hard and they're absolutely prepared for it. Now they just have to believe it themselves. And that's always the hardest part, you know, as, as you kind of go into taper and you taper into a to a big meet, it becomes way more art than science. And it's way more about what's going on up here than it's going on anywhere else, um, you know, but then you, you know, we're obviously going to Atlanta. We're going to fly down there and, you know, getting on a plane with your teammates and, and taking a trip and staying in hotels and all that kind of stuff. You know, it adds a certain level of excitement to it. Um, I also think it kind of uh, can can make it feel like a real big meet, which, which it is. But um, like I said, it's it, it's all about us and we're going to take care of the we before the me. And we've kind of been talking about that all year. And this is a perfect example of how, you know, hopefully that will come to fruition. And, you know, we're going to we're going to do our best. So we're going to sell out for things and we're going to, you know, make sure that we um, are kind of riding a little bit of that roller coaster, some of the ups and downs that happen in a big meet, but not to get too down, not to get too up, just kind of keep a little bit more even keeled, but have a whole heck of a lot of fun with each other, you know, while we're there. And if we can do that, then the 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 times, the scores, the places, all that stuff is going to take care of itself. And we're going to be happy, right? If you can walk out of a meet like this and say, man, I gave it everything I had and Maybe it wasn't 100% perfect, but in many ways it was, then that's a success, right? And you can walk out and you can say, we had a great meet. And most of the time, that's what happens after this meet, regardless of anything else. So um, it's gonna be challenging, it's gonna be tough, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. And you know, I think we're just kind of ready for it. 